Okay, now Samsung's latest One UI 7.0 based on Android 15 is just brilliant. Samsung did add some amazing features on the device. At the same time, they did remove a couple of features which may or may not matter to you. In this video, I would like to talk about those features which we have just lost on One UI 7.0. Before we go ahead, if you're interested in the wallpaper that is showcased in this video, the link is in the description. You can go ahead and download it. Every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper. You can check out all my previous videos and download some beautiful looking wallpaper. Paper. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Now let's dive into the video. The first feature we have lost is on the lock screen. Let me show you that. Now let me just lock the phone here. Now we've got the clock here on top. When we tap on the clock, we used to get the widgets right here which pops up from the bottom of the screen on the lock screen itself. Let me show you that. Let me bring in the uh, Galaxy S23 Ultra which is running on the One UI 6.0. Now here, let me just uh, lock the phone here or the S23 Ultra. Now I'll tap on the clock over here. You see, it brings up these widgets from the bottom. Now we can customize this as well. We can tap on settings to unlock the phone. And then we've got a few options like music player, weather, today's schedule, next alarm, routines, digital well-being, Galaxy Buds Live Manager, smart things. So these are some of the features which we have got, or these are some of the widgets which we have got uh, on the lock screen. By tapping on the clock, we can get all these widgets popping up from the bottom of the screen. Let me show you that again. You see, this is the lock screen. I'll tap on the clock. We have got all these widgets right here. Now, I'm not really sure how many of you guys have been using these widgets on the Galaxy phones. Let me know in the comment section whether you ever use these widgets by tapping on the clock here. And now on One UI 7, let me show you this. When I tap on the clock, it doesn't show up. It just shows me the clock and the other information. The widget list has disappeared. Of course, it may be redundant because see, we do have these widgets right here, which can be customized, but we will be able to set maximum four widgets here. However, on this list, uh, Samsung could have added more. Uh, I mean to say this list, Samsung could have added more and we could get these bigger versions of the widgets right here, which can be accessed on the lock screen. But here on One UI 7, Samsung did add some additional widgets to this. Let me show you that. Let me press and hold on the lock screen open the customization option. When I tap on these widgets, you see we have got some additional widgets which were not available on the previous version. Let me show you that here. Let me open the customization menu here. Now when I tap on these widgets, here we have got battery, calendar, clock, reminder, Samsung health and weather. Those are the only widgets we have got. And here now you can see battery, calendar, we have got camera widgets, uh, clock, device care widgets, uh, digital well-being widgets, expert raw widgets, gallery widgets, interpreter widgets, modes and routines, watch record of widgets. So these are some additional applications from which we can set the widgets right here on this area here. So Samsung did add more widgets, but they took away the feature which expands the bigger widgets by tapping on the clock. That is the first feature we have lost. Next, we did discuss about the edge panel feature. Samsung did remove the uh, edge panel store now, the Galaxy store for the edge panel. We will not be able to download any new edge panels from Samsung Galaxy store now. Let me show you that. Let me uh, open the edge panel here. You see, we've got the settings button. When I tap on this, we have got all these uh, edge panels right here. You see, we have got some of them here, which I've already downloaded. And if I want more from the Galaxy store, I will be able to download it by typing on Galaxy store. You see, we've got top paid, top free, new uh, edge panels. All these are available, which can be added from the Galaxy Store. Now, on One UI 7, we cannot do that. Let me open the edge panel over here. Tap on settings. You see, the Galaxy Store has vanished from here. We do not have Galaxy Store now. Let me show you that. We've got Galaxy Store here, no Galaxy Store here. But if you haven't updated your phone to One UI 7.0 yet, then go ahead, download the ones that you want from the store here because Samsung is going to let you enjoy all these edge panels which you have already downloaded after you upgrade to One UI 7.0. So make sure you've got all those edge panels that you need, you download it beforehand before downloading the One UI 7 version on your phone. Now I have done that, so I'm getting some of these third-party edge panels as well. As you can see, I got reminder edge panel here. I got tasks and uh, people. So there are some edge panels which I have already downloaded, which are available right here on my One UI 7 on the S24 Ultra. So make sure to download the edge panel that you need before you update your phone to One UI 7.0. Now these edge panels will be available in the store as well. Let me uh, tap on Galaxy Store here and I'll tap on Menu. 
my applications this is where i'll find those edge panels which i have already downloaded let me show you that you see i have got all these edge panels which i have already downloaded which is available right here and I can set it up from uh, the Galaxy Store itself. Let's see if I can download some of them which I previously downloaded and uh, I don't have it right now on my edge panel but let's see if this works. I will tap on recent calls here. Yes, it is getting downloaded. So if you have downloaded already and you don't have it on your phone, you will still be able to download it from uh, the Galaxy Store which is great. Uh, but you have to make sure you have downloaded it at least once uh, for the panels to show up here on the Galaxy Store. Now you see I've got coins market uh, stats here. I do not have it on my uh, edge panel on One 7, but I'll be able to tap on this and download it right here. Now this should come and sit over here. Let's go to the uh, edge panel settings. Yes, I've got the recent calls here, which I just downloaded. So if you have downloaded an edge panel already in the past, that will be available to download on your Galaxy Store. This is the second thing which Samsung has taken away from us. But yeah, the edge panels are something which not everybody is using. Some basic edge panels are still available, which we can use. And there are no new edge panels being added on the Galaxy Store for many years now. We only have the old ones which have become redundant. So maybe Samsung is thinking that those are not needed. They are just trying to streamline everything. So they have removed this feature. Now the third feature which is going away is Samsung DeX application on the Windows PC. Now DeX is not going away. Only the Samsung DeX application on the uh, PC is going away. So you may not be able to use the wired connection on the PC. You can still cast the DeX on PC, but uh, using the application on PC may not be possible. Samsung is pushing the phone link application or link to Windows feature on the PC. So that is something which Samsung is doing. So we are gonna lose that feature as well, only for the PCs. But otherwise we can still connect the DeX feature wirelessly on the PCs or TVs or any large monitors. So that feature is still available you can still connect it uh, wirelessly or wired connection is still possible now let me show you another feature which samsung has removed let's go to the camera on one ui 6.1 i'll tap on more and here you can see we have got ar zone integrated into camera application now this has been removed let me tap on ar zone here you can see there is a notice which says uh, we would like to inform you of the following changes to the ar zone services with our uh, with one ui 7 the ar emoji feature has been renamed to galaxy avatar and you can now find it under settings advanced features in addition the ar doodle quick measure and deco quick features will now be available as separate applications and you can download them from samsung galaxy store so these options or these uh, applications are now available separately as applications on Samsung Galaxy Store. So there is no more integration of uh, these options inside Samsung camera application. I think which is a good thing. Uh, we don't really need AR Zone to be present inside the camera application. We can always download them from Galaxy Store if we need it. And I don't see many people making use of these features on the Samsung camera application. Now let me show you the camera app on uh, One UI 7. You see, when I tap on more, we do not have the AR zone feature integrated inside the app. We have a brand new uh, layout here, which is uh, at the bottom, easily accessible in one hand. It's good to have Bixby Vision here. When you tap on Bixby Vision, you see we can discover the contents. You can just take a picture and find it on the internet. You can tap on Wine to identify the wine. Scene Describer, we've got Object Identifier, Text Reader, Color Detector options. Uh, so these are certain options that we have on the Bixby Vision. So having this Bixby Vision within the camera application is gonna be handy for some people out there. Now, these these are some of the features which Samsung has removed from One UI 7. Do you consider any of these features important? Do let me know in the comments section. That's all I want to share with you guys. There will be many more videos coming up on One UI 7.0. I have already posted a couple of videos. If you have missed them, go ahead and check them out. I will be discussing each and every feature that we are getting on One UI 7 in detail. So be sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.